Now, Urum, the Akinachig, the Vyadashi, Kabel, the Yakiwis, and the Kas, and the Yen, Makhdor. I guess Ella, I guess Q, Hashinatova, Merhuchlachi, Hamishetol, Hoshapu, the peace for the noble Chiliachi, I stayed in Inner Nar, in Hartjolson. I guess Norshin had made you in a clear and look at the head. I guess clear for Kimishi here to be the pick and burst of the Ahakam and the cannon and the Gelichi offer. I guess it's Joey Foshiga, Chilish and I guess me, Meg Foskey, and he pick and I guess Norshin clear for Meg. The fit and finish of the co Hakam Hiction is quite a hard garlic. The rest of you are non-Gallic non speakers, yeah? That's good enough. Not Macadamish. Not Macadamish, sure. I, um, I will... Uh, Macadamish, I will finish in the second half by reading from this English collection, Invisible Island, which uh, was uh, well-reviewed in... Uh, the London Press and uh, had terrible reviews in the Scottish Press. I didn't give it a terrible review. <laughs> you said. Yourself said. And the Glasgow Herald. And, uh, uh, I guess the terrible thing about Machine uh, is that it got a particularly good review in the New Statesman, where it was pointed out that uh, I was a bilingual writer, uh, that I can speak. English as well as Gaelic. But both of the great in the G garage and the Yogurt, I guess, Honey Ferturish, I guess, a story minute, a chick, Hick Ferturish, a frog of water from a shop, Gaelic, I guess, machine to judge a water. Of course, you're speaking Gaelic there, and what use really is Gaelic to you in this day and age? And the old man said, well, put it this way, when I get to heaven, the language of Eden is the language of heaven. I guess, could you, all my friends will be there to speak Gaelic with. <laughs> <laughs> At which point the tourist said, but what if you go to the other place? And he said, I've got a bit of English as well. <laughs> <laughs>